throughout this long period of time, you ever have a crush like oh. <laughs> <laughs> ever exactly crush oh, I know he doesn't see this video. <laughs> 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 oh god. He has to see this video. So yeah. you obviously yeah. had. Okay. Yes. So did you did you see that thing? Life soil, feet, realities, and lots more. Fun, fun, fun. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Like, I'm so happy to have you guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Yes, this is Valley Mama, as you all know. They, I'm not exactly, they vibe. They <laughs> vibe. So me from Zubay, my sister, you jumped to me. Hold on, it's graduate. Oh, so from the graduate. No, 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 the first, first, first people first. From yeah. the graduate, actually. Trust exactly. Mm -hmm. So me from Zubay, Nadi, she has a YouTube channel. Yeah. And she, she has amazing songs there. Like, yeah, you can actually check out the link. Don't forget to give it to me, so I'll post it here so they will check it out. Go and subscribe mm -hmm. and like and follow her. Yes. Because she does amazing things. Very there. important. So, the, um, meet Precious. Yeah. Um, my, yeah. Our baby hide mama. <laughs> uh, my hide no rich. No, no she rich. both the rabbit and the dogu malay. Yes. <laughs> She's the rabbit and the dogu malay. So like, let's get yeah, guys, straight into the reason for this video. Yeah. They feel they want to ask me some questions because <laughs> they feel some things that happened in my life and they want us to talk about. Sorry, my phone is ringing. So, but I'm here. Let's listen to the questions they want to ask and mm. let's know. But I have an answer for them. So, guys, um, Valley Mama has already introduced what we are about to get into. Mm -hmm. So, this is more like an interview session. She's the freshest graduate, so mm -hmm. we have a lot of questions to ask yeah, her. Yeah. So, and um, I believe we're not going to take her off balance. Blah, blah, blah. Can we get into it? So, great to tell us. Am I going to say six years in school? No, let me not say six years because Corona was actually that's like seven like, years. That's right, six, seven six years. years. For me. Really, seven yes, years. I did two okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, 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 true. Wow, wow. 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 that's quite a long time. Okay, now I'm going to ask throughout this long period of time, do you ever have a crush like Moon oh. Dragons? <laughs> 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 oh, exactly. Crush oh, that works. I hope yes, he doesn't see this video. <laughs> He has to see this video. So yeah. you obviously had. Okay. Yes. So had a dream. Did you did you see that thing? Um no. At some point I had to see that thing. No, I had to cut off because it wasn't okay, you know, crush is like you actually tripping for someone. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's bad to trip for someone. It's not what you do with it mm -hmm. that matters. So I don't think I saw tripping for someone as a thing. But it was what I did with it that to me it mattered. So at that so point, what did you do with it? Exactly. What did you do? <laughs> okay, no, we can't we can't get into a friendship or situationship with everybody you trip for. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does moment. Yes, it's just, it's not, it's not very crazy. Yeah. So at that point, you know, fresh let me start from my year one year two. I think I had someone that I was really, really, really crushing on. Mm -hmm. And we are very good friends. He will be seeing this video like ah. But like yeah. this one in particular was the one that was like we got into like we got very close, really really close to ourselves. So it was at some point we read together, we went to church together, we went to class, nice class together. Everything so was in the same fellowship. Too. Yes, he was. So it was kind of easier to just you know deal with because he was in the same fellowship with me. Mm -hmm. But I think at some point we are getting um too close for comfort. Mm -hmm. So we had to. Sit down and talk things out. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really yes. Now, now let, yeah. Me, let me let me let me ask you. How did it affect you in any way? Your crush with him. Okay. Did it yeah. Your yeah. academic. Was there any positive, positive yeah. parts and negative? Parts? Okay. Basically, positively, yes, because he was he was someone that was focused. I was focused. So basically, I think who you are, you attract the type of persons you are to your life. He was focused in his academics and I was too. But it affected me, yes, because emotionally. 
once something once something happens, once something goes wrong, I can't read. Oh, like it gets oh. that bad. I can't <laughs> read. I can't read. Like I can't even pray. Wow. Because yeah. it gets because I'm uncomfortable and like what the, what am I going to do? He's not happy with me. He always mattered for every single move I made. He always mattered. So it was like a great determining step for my progress. Mm -hmm. So at that point, since there was there was not supposed to be any form of commitment, it was affecting me in mm -hmm. some instances, and I felt a little bit freer, like a single lady should be. Mm -hmm. You know, when you don't know whether in a relationship was mm -hmm. not even the aim of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. you guys are so close, close, and then you get emotionally attached yeah. to someone. So I think it did both positively and negatively. But along the line, I felt the negative one would have been much. It was not curtailed when it was curtailed. So, so after you had the conversations, you could have to. Yeah, we had to down. step down. Yes, so. we had to. Okay, we you to uh, No, not about that. Okay, in relation to this, were there instances where people liked you, but you did not like oh, them too? Necessary. And how did you handle it, especially if they were your friends? Because the things get awkward, like after they confess their feelings okay. to you or stuff. Okay. What happened? There are such instances. Okay, yes, I had. Lots of them, it's true, I had. <laughs> I can remember one. I can remember one, you know, basically, I think the thing is timing. It wasn't because they were bad. Yeah, it wasn't because what they were coming for. I think everyone knew my stand. Mm -hmm. So no one come to me to start asking for a relationship with a sexual intention. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even if they had it, I wouldn't see it. Because I think they knew my stand, but I think the whole be my girlfriend or relationship stuff was the issue. I wasn't caught in for that at that moment. Yeah. So when I think you're sorry, coming, so are you caught in for that now? When I think So when I think you're coming for that and like I wasn't ready for it, I told you so like I'm so straight up with you. In fact. Even when you're not verbal about it and you're very close and I'm like, hey, what's up? What's this? <laughs> like, yes. what's up? What's this? We know that we can't. I'm not even if I don't come out directly, somehow joking, I'm like, hey, this guy, I know you are interested. I'm telling you, this guy is coming to ask me for friendship, but you know that I can't do it. I'm not ready for a relationship. So you yourself you should be registering in your head that it can't. Mm -hmm. It can't. And then sometimes I have to walk walk out some guys from my room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who came and after I said they know, they were trying to pers persuasive. Mm. I had to say no. You get out of my room. No, no. no <laughs> let's let's talk about um walking out, walking guys out of the room. What kind of visitors like? Of course, you stayed alone. Okay. And as a lady that loves her or that loves her privacy, you stayed alone. So what what kind of people did you let into your room? And we know what they say. When a guy comes in, you know, you just have to be so careful, especially with someone that you're not really yeah. close to, to avoid anything happening. Yeah. So what, did you really have a kind of particular people that you allowed in, or maybe anybody, not anybody per se, but I get, yeah, like you're just trying to, okay. exactly. So basically, like I said, you attract your type of people to you. Apart from the fact that some persons will still will try to be crazy to go for that one, they say it's hard to get. Mm. Apart from that. Now, I think something happened in my year three. That someone, one guy was getting excessively close to me, and it was affecting me emotionally because I knew nothing could go on between us, but I was beginning to become comfortable with him. Mm -hmm. So I think because of him, I set a rule no one visits me without calling me. Okay. Then, once it's nine o'clock, you don't visit me. If you're in my room, you start planning to leave. Because I was staying alone, yeah. so it was easier to handle and go. In fact, up to like up to the time I graduated, you don't, no matter how close we were. Why? Because I noticed that if you're my very close friend, especially a guy, and you come because you are comfortable with me without calling me, mm -hmm. and someone else is there and sees him come in, the person is like, so what makes both of us? Why does he have to call yeah, without calling? Exactly. So I said no. No matter who you are, no matter how important you were to me. Even if I don't shout at you, I'll be like, Anna, what happened? You don't call me. What happened? You get yeah. it. And I'm like, hey, no, 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 please don't do it again. So that was one policy that helped me. Before you come, I always tell you, call me. Mm -hmm. So I prepare my mind mentally. For the type of person you are, of if I want you to come, I'll tell you. If I don't want you to come, I'll tell you, no, we can't see for so and so reason. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I'm busy. Or So it wasn't just difficult to 
Some people and my room windows are always shut. People don't even know I'm around. I'm always on my own if I'm not in school. Yeah. Okay, so or with my friends. So people that come around to see me, we are just people that have something tangible. tangible. Yeah. Or people or my mentee is in here. People that wanted to come around to learn one or two things or reading. Apart from that, like that policy was a very strong factor. Yeah. Okay. Now um let's get to the part of stress. Um, an average student in the tertiary institution always complain about stress. Oh no, my school is stressful, my school is this, my school is that. Now, and you know what they say, your health is very much important. Yeah. So in the midst of stress, how were you able to manage your health? I don't know, but sometimes I think I feel guilty answering this case still. <laughs> because, to be sincere, I did not do 70%. I was not... I was not if I had another opportunity, I would have done better. Really? Yes, because I felt ill several, like severally. Although I had some peculiar health challenges that made me, I don't like stress. If it's not academics or spiritual that is stressing me, you don't have any right to stress me. Mm. If it's not something I just enjoy doing, going to help people or stuff like that, you don't have any right to stress me. So in handling stress, I think what happened was I was so focused on my book, my spiritual life. So. There was a maximum amount of time I could sleep in a day. There was a minimum. Yeah. I think big or small, five hours, I must sleep up to five hours a day, no matter the exam. Or, and then another thing that helped me handle stress was I found out what worked for me. It was very important because in my two hundred level in pharmacy, it was just too, the pressure was too much. What kind of pressure? Everybody was going to night class. Everybody was reading. The pressure of you, if you fail, you will leave. The faculty, yeah. or you repeat class, you know, it was enough pressure, at least that they know. So I wanted to pass, I wanted to do well, I wanted to surprise my parents, I wanted to make them proud. So what did I do? I stayed away for night class every single day. <laughs> at some point, after first, second year, I sat down and I asked myself, in all honesty, in all sincerity, how is your performance? What you're sleeping, you're reading, it was just a mess for me. I would read. Let me say from 11 to 4 a.m. Then I'll go home. Then I'll sleep till say 8 a.m. And during the day, I'll still feel sleepy. So when I calculate the amount of hours I slept in the day and when I came back from night class, it will be more than the number of hours I stayed awake reading in night class. Yeah. But someone will say, hey, you read from 11 to 4 a.m. Wow. Meanwhile, it's someone that slept by 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. and read till 4 or 5 mm -hmm. and woke up and read and then went to lectures, did your quiet time, went to lectures. And in the day, still you are active. And yeah. read again, you know. So I think I found out what worked for me, and every day I made sure I had a solid food. Even if I wanted to eat junk, at least one of my meals was solid. Mm -hmm. So that was it. I had a plan that worked for me, and then I it was a conscious effort, but I did not do the best. <laughs> I know. Oh. So there was still some stress that you could Yeah, ah, there was stress that I, I couldn't control. So. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting episodes.